What's up guys, my name's Shoten, and today I'm playing either. Uh, this is a browser-based game that I've seen a few, quite a few YouTubers do already, um, some of the bigger YouTubers. But I thought it, it it's, it's funny, it seems like a really fun idea, and um, I just thought it'd be entertaining to do. I haven't, I, I like some of the questions that pop up, and I'm just interested to see what pops up because I've I've probably watched about four or five videos of them so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, get started here let's see what do we get would you rather hoard or compulsively clean ooh I mean I don't want to hoard because then the place would be dirty the whole time and if I compulsively clean then at least the area would be clean. I mean, compulsively tells me that you like can't stop cleaning. That would be kind of annoying, I guess, but I'd rather it be clean. Yep, so I guess everyone else agreed. All right, good to know. Next question. Would you rather be in jail for a year or live in complete isolation in the mountains for a year? Ooh, okay, so this one's a little tough because, you know, oh, wait, let's read the description. Your criminal record wouldn't be affected. Think of it like a social versus a loan question. Okay, so it wouldn't go on your record as being a crime and that you served jail time. It's just strictly for a social experiment. Um, well, even knowing that, you would still have to be in jail for a year. And that's, a, I'm sure, a pretty rough time. Um, living in complete isolation in the mountains for a year, that would also be really rough. I mean, yeah, you'd be outside, but you have to worry about, you know, uh, the weather. You have to worry about animals, wild animals. You have to worry about finding food that is edible that you can actually live off of. You have to worry about shelter. Um, so that's a little bit more rough. At, at least in jail, you already have the shelter. You have the food given to you. You don't have to worry about that stuff. You just have to worry about other things. Um, so with that in mind, I'm kind of like an outdoorsy kind of person anyways. So I would probably, honestly, I would probably take living complete isolation in the mountains for a year just because I'm already an outdoorsy person and I kind of like, that's kind of like a challenge to me. So I would probably do that. I don't I don't really want to be in jail for a year. So yeah, I'm glad everyone agreed. All right, next question. Would you rather travel the world confined to a wheelchair or spend your whole life in the same 200 mile radius? By choosing to stay in one place, you would not be handicapped if, if in the wheelchair you are handicapped. Okay, this one's gonna be a little tough, um, because if you have to travel the world confined to a wheelchair, does that mean, yeah, yeah, it says in the description, so I would be handicapped at that point. But if I spent my whole life in the same 200 mile radius, I wouldn't be handicapped. I could go about my normal life, but I just wouldn't be able to leave that 200 mile radius. So again, this is a very difficult one, but I'm gonna go default back to my personality and I am an adventurous person. I don't, I like to explore, I like to go out, I like to, you know, experience different areas, locations, cultures. So having to spend my whole life in the same 200 mile radius, I don't think I'd do too well with that. I don't think I'd like that because that's my whole life. You know, I, I really don't like that. Traveling the world confined to a wheelchair, I would, the travel the world part, obviously, yes, that, that really draws me in, but having to basically give up my freedom of being able to walk, um, you know, that would be a little tough, but I still think I would prefer that because I could travel the world. I could still go out, see new places, experience new things. Yeah, I might be handicapped as far as the wheelchair is concerned, but 
you know, that's that's not really that big of a deal to me, especially if I can travel the world. So I'm going to pick that one. Yeah, see, that was that was a little tougher for people, and I understand that. Would you rather run 26 miles or swim 5 miles? 26 miles is a marathon. Now, again, this is just me because that's what I do, but I run. I actually enjoy running. Um, I, I don't do it very often anymore, but I still, when I go and do it, I enjoy it. And I can run for long periods of time. 26 miles? Yeah, that would be really rough. That would be really hard to do. Um... But I think that I would prefer that over swimming. Swimming five miles, that's a whole body workout. Like, swimming, that's, you know, that is an overall workout. And five miles, you have to think about that. That's a long way to swim without, you know, having a break or anything. So, 26 miles with running, I'm, I'm going to do that. See? That one was a split one. I don't know, man. I feel like these guys aren't thinking this through very well. I mean, I know running is not everyone can run. It's it's some people have legitimate problems or medical problems or shin splints. Um, and I have problems with my knees sometimes too. But I would still pick running 26 miles over swimming five miles, um, because that's so exhausting. Swimming five miles, that's I'm not nearly in the shape that I would need to be to swim five miles. I'm more in the shape that I would need to be to run 26 miles. That's why I picked that one. So, next one. Would you rather always be overdressed or always be underdressed? In both cases, you would stick out. Hmm. Now, the lazy side of me is thinking underdressed because you know you don't have to put as much effort into your outfits you don't have to I don't know you don't have to worry about your suit your you know your nice clothes being all ironed and looking nice um, but if you're always overdressed you just look like a professional person you look like you have your shit together so you know yeah it's more annoying because you'd always have to constantly be wearing like a suit or something, or like a nice dress shirt or something. Um, but I think I would still pick that over being underdressed all the time. And a lot of people agreed. I'm actually kind of surprised. All right, would you rather star in Saved by the Bell or star in Boy Meets World? See, the only way that I would star in Saved by the Bell or the way that I would want to is if I had, I can't even remember the character's name now, I feel like an idiot, but the character that can like basically stop time, like pause, freeze, um, if I could do that, then I would do that. But Boy Meets World, I haven't really watched very much of that. I That was one of the shows where I think around the time that was out, something else was out that was big, and I, I was more interested in the other things, so I never really watched much of Boy Meets World, so... Because of that, I'm going to pick Saved by the Bell. And a lot of people disagree. All right. Good to know. Would you rather have a baby boy or a baby girl? I kind of, like, have that default, like, I want a boy because I want him to carry on the family name or whatever. But, you know, I would just as much like having a baby girl because, you, I mean, it's known. Like, a, a father's love for his daughter is way over the top and you know I'm sure I would be the exact same way but uh I think I'm probably gonna stick to baby boy just because of the fact that it, and it has nothing to do with sexism or anything it's just you know a baby boy I can I can relate to more and I don't have to worry as much about the boy as I would with a girl. Not that I wouldn't have to, it's that I probably wouldn't worry as much, even though I probably should worry bo about both. But a girl is completely different for a, a father. You know, you 
treat them like, you know, they're this sacred, precious thing, and you don't ever want to let anyone mess with her. Whereas the boy, it's tough love, you know? You gotta raise them, you gotta, they gotta get knocked down, get back up, all that stuff. So, the boy, I would probably pick. And a lot of people agree. So, and I'm not even saying, like, the girl part, just, like, not the girl, just because, you know, they have... Uh, temperament problems or whatever when they start getting to the teenage years I don't care about that I mean boys have you know rebellious phases that they go through so it's kind of the same thing on both sides all right next question if you had to die would you rather die a painful death that goes down in history or die a painless death that everyone hates you for it's in all of the history books for the painless death, people will make fun of you and basically hate you. Okay, so, you know, this is basically a... Would you rather be really popular or hated? So, you know, I could, buy, I could die a very painful death. I'm going to be remembered. It's going to be in the history books. Or I could die pain, painlessly, you know... It, and everyone would hate me. Like, why would they hate me? What? Why would they make fun of my painless death? I don't really get that. So, you know, I don't really like to be... I don't, I don't really, I don't, I don't know. Because this is like, I have to worry about myself. I At this point, if I'm dying already, who gives a shit what everyone else thinks? You know, like, okay, yeah, if I died a painful death, then it's gonna go down in history. But if I die a painless death, and everyone's gonna hate me for it. Who cares? I'm dead. I don't care. You know? So, I'm picking that one. Yep, I knew I was gonna be in the minority on that one, but I'd rather, I would rather be, have it be a painless death for me because I'm already dead. I'm already dying. So, I don't care if people hate me for that. If you walked into a room, would you rather have everyone stare at you in disgust or have everyone look away in disgust. Wow. That's, uh... That's pretty mean. But, I will say, if I had to pick... I mean, clearly they're just disgusted in me regardless. Um, I would probably have everyone look away, because having people staring at me in disgust is... It's just far worse. Like, at least if they're looking away, like, you know, you can just pretend like, all right, well, I guess I'm just invisible to everyone and go on about your your day. But if everyone is staring at you in disgust, then you're constantly having to, then you would be the one to have to, like, kind of, like, look down and look away and have to act all, like, completely different. At least with them looking away, you can just be you. Who cares? See? Yeah. Nobody wants to make direct eye contact with disgust. All right. Would you rather be smart and always be ignored or be dumb but always listened to? What's the point in being smart if you're just going to be ignored all the time? Always. It says always. You're always going to be ignored. So even if you're smart, you can't really help anybody. You can't really convey any kind of ideas or anything because nobody's going to listen to you. So I think... I'm going to be dumb, because at least that way, I'll get listened to. At least people will be willing to listen to me. So, I'll do that. Nope, everyone still wants to just be smart. I don't know about that. Would you rather live in the world overrun by zombies, or live in the world of My Little Pony? I am not... <laughs> okay, you can choose to either be a person or a zombie slash pony. Just because, okay, I'm not a brony, and I am not going to pick this. Because I kind of like the zombie world. I like the survival aspect. It's it's more fun for me to think that I don't, I wouldn't be a zombie, but I would be a person in the world overrun by zombies. You know, would I die? Maybe, but it'd be it'd be exciting. Whereas, living in the world of My Little Pony, uh, no, no, 
Yep, see, everyone wants to do that because it's all happy and cheery and, you know, that's... Hey, no, no, I don't want that. <laughs> Would you rather never... Would you rather, okay. So, would you rather never listen to music again, or would you rather never play video games again? That one's really tough for me, because I absolutely love music. Love all kinds of music. Um, actually, my shirt has a bunch of different uh, genres on it. That's It's like a beatbox thing, or not a beatbox, a boombox looking thing made out of words of the different genres, but I also really love video games. This one's really difficult for me, um, but if I had to pick, oh man, that's rough. That's rough because music is like such a big part of video games in particular too, but video games, you can get I, I don't even know like it would take away a part of me but you could fill that void with books or movies or shows um, so I would probably say I would rather never play video games again yep because I cannot I, I really don't think I could live without music it would just be a really boring world all right would you rather become a superhero or become a super villain so basically this is, would you rather be... Okay, so the power is neutral. It could be used for either good or evil equally. Okay, so you you have the same power, but it's your choice to either be a superhero or a supervillain. This is basically, would you rather be good or evil? Would you rather, you know, people like you or hate you? Um, well... As cliche as it's going to sound, I would probably rather become a superhero because at least that way I'll have, you know, people who respect me and not only that, but I'll be able to save people, I'll be able to, um, you know, eat bad guys and nobody's going to constantly be trying to find me to take me down or anything besides a supervillain. If I were a supervillain, Everyone would hate me. Everyone. Like, everyone would constantly be looking for me. There would be a manhunt out. Plus, the superhero would be trying to find me. So, that's not really a great gig. I'm gonna go superhero. Yep. Would you rather watch The Sandlot or watch The Goonies? Okay, both really great movies. This one's a really tough one. Um, oh god. You know what? I'm picking The Goonies. I'm sorry. I, I'm i a sucker for the Goonies. It's one of my favorites. Alright, would you rather have your face on the $1 bill or have your face on the $100 bill? Either way, you're pretty famous. So, this is like a quantity kind of thing. So, if you had your face on the dollar bill, people usually carry around more dollar bills, so you would be on more, like they would see you more. Whereas, if you're on the $100 bill, not too many people carry around a $100 bill, so you wouldn't be seen that often. But, you know, that's that's your pick. You know, So, I'm not really that full of myself, so I don't really think that I would want to be put on the dollar bill because, you know, then you're just everywhere and you're in everyone's face. But at the same time, you look like you're full of yourself if you want to be on the $100 bill because it's a more expensive bill. It's higher value. Whatever, I'm doing that. Yep. Yep. Alright, would you rather eat a cup of baking soda and then do a shot of vinegar? Ugh, ugh. Or eat a pack of Mentos and then chug a Diet Coke? Okay. So either way, this is just going to be bad all around. But the one, this one, would taste horribly you're doing a shot of vinegar with baking soda but it's just a shot it's not that much this one would probably taste better even though i don't like diet coke but it would probably taste better than vinegar but you have to chug a diet coke so it's not just a shot you have to chug it on top of you know this mentos thing you would be vomiting up <laughs> foam for so long because it 
Yeah, because it's t it's telling you to eat it first and then chug, so you would have to eat it, so therefore it'd be down here, and then you would chug a Diet Coke, the reaction would happen, and then it would just come all the way up out of your throat and out of your mouth, and probably out of your nose too. No thank you. I'm going to do the vinegar one. Yep, everyone else disagrees. I think you're all wrong. Boom. Alright. Would you rather start your own business which is doomed to fail, or work for other people at low salaries? This one's interesting. I see what they're trying to do with the small business. Like, okay, you're starting your own business, but it is going to fail and you know that going in. Would you still do it? My answer is yes. I would still do it because you get that exposure you can learn you have to fail sometimes you have to take a risk you have to take a chance yeah your business failed who cares you can start over again with something different and uh you know at least you've gained some more it's a new thing it's a new i don't know it's a new experience that's what i like working for other people at low salaries i don't like that i don't like that yeah see apparently everyone else is content with just working for low salaries. I don't know why. All right, would you rather be the CEO of a Fortune 500 company or be the president of a prominent country? So this is, it. would you rather be rich or would you rather be important? That one's kind of tough. Um, I would say the president of a prominent country, but you also have to deal with backlash, you have to deal with politics, and I hate politics, so I'm doing that one. Yep. Everyone wants to be rich anyway, so. Would you rather cheese grate your upper arm, or slide down a fireman pole covered in tacks in a pool of rubber alcohol? Oh my. Oh my god. Wow, that's... No. 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 The cheese grate... Yeah, that's gonna hurt a lot. But that's just one... One section. You're just grating your arm. Whereas, sliding down a fire pole covered in tacks... You're gonna get tacks all over. Areas that you don't want them to be. And then you're going to go into a pool of rubbing alcohol. So it's going to burn the fuck out of your wounds that would be incredibly painful now yes you could just go through it and then take the tax out and not be permanently scarred probably whereas cheese grating your upper arm it doesn't say how long like do you just have to kind of grate it a little bit and okay well that was painful or do you have to like legitimately grate your arm oh wait here we go I I didn't read the description I'm an idiot you must cheese grate your entire upper arm, and you must be naked sliding down the pole. Ooh, oh, okay. That that changes a lot. Yep, we're cheese grating the upper arm. Yep. Cheese grating the upper arm. Would you rather live forever or never live? Well, if I never lived, then I never would have known what living was like, so I wouldn't miss it. But, if I live forever, then I'd be alive forever. So... But you'd also have to see everyone die. I'm gonna say live forever. Yep. I'd rather be alive at some point. So... Alright. Let's see. <laughs> Would you rather be able to pop all of your pimples at once, or be able to crack all of your joints at once? Purely for the satisfaction, of course. There's no pain, only gain. I think this is actually a pretty decent place to leave this, so I'm going to end it here. Um, if you like this video, please leave a like and comment on, you know, if you guys disagreed with me on some of these, um, or this question right here, what would you do in this scenario? Um, and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be doing a lot more of different things, um, like... Probably some more of this. I'll probably do some Google Feud. I'll probably do some more Overwatch and um, more Persona 4. I'm going to be doing that. So if that sounds like stuff that you'd like, then just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And as always, I will see you all in the not citizen future. Thank you, everyone.
the nuts? Fact. He already got hit in the nuts earlier. Come on. That's not fair. My trial of the dragon. Aww. I think mine's cracked too. <laughs> Critical hit to the nads. Okay, that's funny.